In Affinity Photo, if you want to apply noise to a particular part of the image, you could use selections, but you can also use brushes. So if you've got a noise effect you want to apply, or any other filter effect, you can use brushes to apply that noise. So let's start at the beginning. So I've got this image, and now what I can do, I can go over here to Filters, go down here to Noise, and I can apply noise. Any kind of noise, personally, Perlin noise I always find really good. And you can set it, of course, in numerous ways. You can change the octaves, zoom, etc., to create very, very fine noise. And then click Apply. So once you've done that, you've lost the image, of course. But what you can do, go to Window, and then down to History. And then just go down here, just right down the bottom, Perlin Noise. Just click there. And that's just slightly highlighted, slightly highlighted. Then you can go back to the before that pearly noise and you've got that again. Then go over here and select the undo brush. If you can't find that, please customize your tools panel to get this undo brush back. So select that and you can set it to a particular size. All the various settings are available. And I'm just going to go with, say, hard mix. You could, of course, use many others. Once you've done that, you can then simply just go over here and I'm just using a very basic brush, just any of the brushes here, the basic one, and just apply. And then I can very quickly apply that effect over any part of the image, say over there. And you can create a lovely noise effect just to those various people there. Now, let's undo that. What you can also do, maybe create something even slightly more unusual. So again, go to filters, and then go down here and gain noise, Perlin noise. Just apply that, change the different settings, zoom, click apply. Maybe blur it. So filters, blur, and Gaussian blur. So you can create effects over three or four different filter effects, maybe 10. So you've got that, set the radius to, so it's slightly blurred, click apply. Maybe go to filters, colors, and auto levels to get that. And also you can maybe distort it a bit. So filters, distort and deform. I'm just going to add some pins now, just very quickly and distort the image. So just make sure I select it. And you can distort it, of course, in all kinds of ways, just by dragging like that to create some very interesting noise effects. And then click apply. Exactly the same as before. Just go down here, right down to the bottom and just click there. So it's highlighted, set the undo brush source as it says, click, and then go back to this. You've got the image again, exact same as before, go to the undo brush, select that, and now apply. And this time you've got some more slightly unusual noise effects. So you can create something like that, or maybe something like that. And of course you can fine tune the brush, make the brush size smaller, or maybe undo that, Maybe decide, you know what, let's just go for, instead of hard mix, maybe go with, say, screen and apply that. And you can see then you get a slightly different effect. Or maybe go with, let's just go down to another one, maybe divide. And that creates another interesting effect. And you can create all kinds of different noise effects very easily using Finney Photo's Undo Brush. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.